Oh, okay. What's going on, everybody? I want to appreciate y'all for tuning into this week's video, and I hope you enjoy it. Before that, make sure if you're not subscribed, you hit that subscribe button. Because when I get to 50K, we're going to give away this one ounce gold buffalo. We've been picking up a lot of subscribers, so I appreciate y'all, and I hope y'all enjoy the video. But before that, I had a request. There you go. There he is. Big money, man. No big money. No money. I got 180 for you on short notice. Perfect. This comes free? Yeah. One of the rings I bought, the iron was there in this, inside the ring. Not from you, but I don't know from me. I was about to say, from, not from me, right? Uh, I don't know. Because we, we did bars last time. I was going to do this in bars, but when you called, I just yeah, didn't have time to do it. I don't know where the thing went. I mean, it, it bounced right here, but I don't know where it went. What? The top, top of this. It's going to go dry if I don't find it. It's, right, it's got to be sitting here somewhere. Well, you need gold so bad. You got to order or something? Yeah, last minute. Yesterday, I was over here only. I just bought from heaven yesterday. And uh, I didn't need it till yesterday afternoon. I didn't need it. I got lucky, man. I got him a watch. Oh, yeah, this one, huh? Yeah, so, how did it? Oh, yeah. Right. So, you, went, you just walked into the store? So, I went in, I went into. So, I went into Rolex, the actual Rolex store. Mm hmm. And I asked them kind of, do they have anything? The guy was a pure, pure <laughs> the guy in there. Me and my wife went in there. I asked him, he was kind of being short and smart. Mm -hmm. Another guy comes in behind me. Uh -huh. He asked him the same thing. Hey, y'all got anything? He's kind of older guy, dressed kind of a little business kind of looking guy. He took his information down, asked him his name, how long he was going to be in town. <laughs> but me, they was just like, no, nah, yeah. we ain't got nothing. We'll so we walked around the mall. There was another store, and I went in there, and they sell Rolexes and stuff. And I asked the lady, and I my wife was wearing hers. I had my tutor on, yeah. and I was just telling her, you know, we're from out of town, kind of where we're from. It's impossible to get anything from an AD. Right. How do y'all do it here? I just kind of talking to her. She was like, if we get stuff, normally we'll put it out. We do have clients that you know that's bought stuff from us, but if you're not looking for nothing crazy at first, you know, we'll, we might sell you something. So she was like, I can take your information down. And I was like, you're never going to call me, yeah. man. And my wife was like, just give it to him. Like, and it's in Vegas and we're in Florida. And and I'm like, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to him. So I gave him the information. She asked me what I wanted. Okay. And I said, because I wanted a black sub or the Kermit. And I told her, so anything I she really, be laughing on anything yeah, she sub, was, really. And I said, uh, the Explorer 2, because I knew that's what he wanted. And I figured that would be a... Easier. Well, easier one to get. And I said, or anything GMT, like a Pepsi. She was like, well, I couldn't sell you that at first. <laughs> I was like, no, I understand. I understand. So I, we went back to the hotel room. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm laying in the bed while my wife's getting ready. I get a call, 702 number. I'm like, nobody should be calling me from a 702 number. That's Vegas area code. She called. She was like, hey, you was here earlier. I had a, I had a, she said she had a guy that wanted it and he backed out. She said, I had a guy back out. If you want to come get it, you can get it. So I went down there and bought it. It's nice to get them at retail, man. Yeah, but those, those, the thing with those are, it's not super high yeah. difference between the retail and the premium yeah, on it. Yeah, they're like so 12. Great, yeah. yeah. So there's not too much gray market, but it's a good thing you bought it. Yeah. So next time, did you ask for a next one? Yeah. Uh, she gave me her, yeah, she sure, gave me your yeah. number. I texted her afterwards. I was like, thank you so much. Da, da, da. And she, she told me, she was like, if you're coming back in town, give me like a month before you come and tell me what you're looking for and I might be able to get something for you. Yeah, also you can do is sometimes tell her if anything nice comes up, uh, shoot me a text. Yeah. Sometimes it's, if 
feasible to fly and oh, go yeah. and get the watch oh, because yeah. they have to save you four or five thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, because they I won't ship it. Yeah, that's because what I told her too. I said, I said, you know, I'm because I go out to Vegas yeah. every year, but I mean, we definitely would go get yeah, it. And that's what I told her too. I'm like, you know, from where we're from, it's impossible for us to get anything. Yeah, well, yeah, it's so I said, even if you get something where another client backs out and it's something I'm kind of looking for, hey, I'll take a trip out and yeah, because I get have a one, weekend out one here dealer, for, and that wasn't a Rolex store it was a jewelry store they the sell dealer. Rolexes and stuff oh yeah it was the yeah. or whatever it's called but it was authorized dealer right oh yeah. yeah yeah but she gave me her information and I text her the next day and she's she was a super super nice lady if I could ever get any Rolex at retail this was 90 96 96 with tax it was like 10,458 I think it was if I can get any anything at retail that's new in the box with paper and everything. I mean, it's hard not to any any of them. And yeah. I know that's the one he wanted, so I just yeah, it's luck. Luck, one, yeah. you know. Sometimes things you just get lucky, oh, yeah. and your luck is good anyways. <laughs> I've told you before, also. I don't know. I was gonna give her a couple month or two and text her. Hey. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it to seem like. And no, then no, I told no, her she was don't, like, don't, she, don't she, be too pushy. Well, yeah, she was like, so what do you do? I'm like. Uh, <laughs> what did you answer? Like, I said, oh, YouTube, I got a YouTube channel. Uh, she was like, well, what do you do? She was like, I teach people how to make money and stuff like that. I didn't want to tell her I buy and sell because she'll think I'm buying it to sell it, you know. Yeah, that, that, that's what I Because I know, that's, was, I know that's what they don't like. So I tried to right. not tell her that, hey, oh, I got a pawn shop and I buy so and sell So sometimes if you were too much jewelry and everything, yeah. they do to plus with it. This guy must be in the business. I think, me. so the manager, when I went in there, the manager's the one I talked to, but I didn't know. I didn't know she was the manager. I think she just liked me and my wife. Yeah. It's, it's all about, just, I think it's she all just about, liked, I, the good thing was you went with your wife, oh, yeah. so it makes a good impression as well. Oh, yeah. You're going with your family, it's a family. And she had hers on, I had a tutor on, and I told her, I said, I just, I and had you a had tutor, a tutor on. on. That's I said, right. I got a tutor because, you know, unless you're paying resale. You showed your tattoo? She seen it when I bought it. Yeah, she was well, like that makes a big difference. And then right. she took a and then she took a picture. She and I told her I said, you know, I really I really got that for like, well I seen somebody with it and I liked it. And then the other one here is like a chess piece, a queen with a crown with my daughter on it. Then that's like a crown. Right. But I got it like kind of for a reason, like a motivation reason, you know. Yeah. And I told her and she was like, oh, she's like, oh, you're a Scorpio. Y'all are like that. She was a, she was she was super nice lady, but. Rolex is all over the place too. I mean, we don't know if they're going up, down. You don't. The bottom kind of is falling out a little bit. It's just. It's hard. It's hard. Everybody's kind of worried. I think with all the economy, everything going on. Economy's. F right now. So I'm saying, with everything going on, I think people just are hesitating. Don't have money right now. That's yeah. why. That's why there's stuff available. And I think that there. that might have been why the guy. Because she said that was for a client. And he yeah. backed out. Yeah, him. that's what so I'm he, saying. Yeah. He don't have the ten grand to put out to. Whatever. Very, very few people have money right now. And, and this is one thing when the economy does get bad that people ain't really buying like that necklaces and jewelry and stuff like that. They're not spending money on that stuff. People are coming and selling right now. Yeah. There was a minute I was buying hundreds and hundreds of ounces of silver. Oh yeah, I know. I saw your video that uh, uh, Eagle Coins. The yeah. world. And I bought some more that I didn't even get on camera. Here we go. That thing's hard sometimes, man, because I don't, I don't let it run all day long. I mean, I just can't let that thing run all day long. And then sometimes you have your back turned in here doing something, and somebody walks in and you just can't get it up. Yeah, we so don't I, get I miss 80% of them. I miss some stuff that comes in. I just I just got that camera. That camera's a lot better than the other one. That's I right have. now? Yeah. I posted on YouTube the first video the melting one. Oh, yeah, I watched it. Yeah, yeah. 3,500 views I got on that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it's shorts. That's short? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just doing shorts right now, but I'm not, still not that comfortable oh, to yeah. talk to the camera and... <laughs> you, know, I, you know, I was um, thinking about when you use, like, your accent and stuff like that, but there's a guy that kind of does, like, what we do, kind of. Mm -hmm. he's, he's not on a pawn shop. He's got, like, a buy sell trade shop. Mm -hmm. And where's he from? He's from a different country yeah. with a pretty heavy accent. And, I mean, he gets a... Ton of views. Ton of views. Yeah, he gets I mean, lot. he gets millions and millions. He gets a lot. I'm about to melt all this. I appreciate it, though. So, all right. Cut it all, all up. Stuff, right? I cut it all up so it can sit in there. Just... 
you want to set it on YouTube? This, this stuff? Snapchat or something? No, I think right now I'm, I'm going to save it till we get to a certain amount and I'll scan all of these stupid things just to scan that right there just to see what. I was going to say 9 to 5, that's good. Yes, yeah, silver is never undercarried. Silver will always So when work. you melt this into a bar, are you still going to lose some, you think? No, silver you don't lose. Shouldn't lose much. And you still do the borax? borax yeah, you do this? borax on this one as well. Same as gold? Or same as gold. S same as gold, the process is. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be much cleaner than this. Because mm -hmm. there's only one, 92% of it is silver. Okay, so yeah. element is not there too much. So if you see, there's only two elements, silver and copper in this. Mm -hmm. So it's much even, it'll sh nice and shiny it'll come out. Mm -hmm. Nice and shiny, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's less, less of a I bought some 10 ounce things to pour it in so I'm gonna I didn't want to sell none of this man you look here like you I know I was trying to hold on to it what's the biggest thing you ever got burned on Cuban chain oh that big Cuban chain That's did he end up giving you the money back half money you gave half half and yeah. half half money I got burned <laughs> thirty five hundred dollars I lost on that one is it 7,000 chain? 7,000 chain. My brother sent me a video the other day. Somebody did a one ounce gold coin. Man, this. It weighed exactly hard, right. Yeah. And it folded. On CRM, CRM? I don't know who's. I don't know. I didn't see who sent it, but my brother. I didn't see whose the video was, but my brother sent yeah, me a ping yeah. test. Is, that ping test. Yeah, the ping test. It wouldn't. The it didn't pass test, the yeah. ping that's test. That's a good. That's a good thing. And the Sigmas it said it didn't. Yeah, pass. then the Sigma, that Sigma machine, and yeah. the ping test. Where did that? But it this right here. That. It passed this. But and it, it weighed. Even Sigma it pass. No, the Sigma it didn't pass. The one no? he sent. The one no. I seen. Oh. Okay. Maybe there are some that will, but the one I seen did. But he opened it up. He peeled it up, mm -hmm. and you could see that there was whatever they put in there. They put they inside put, of it uh, and put a layer. I think in. they put. It's like tungsten Grass. or something. Oh, no, tungsten, you're right. Uh, tungsten, yeah. So that part of the video you just watched right there, I actually missed the end of the transaction. So I got a new Sony camera. That's why you don't see that white balance so bad. And I think the shot looks a lot better. But anyways, I didn't know that these Sony cameras, they only record for 30 minutes and then they shut off. So I missed the end of that transaction. So what we actually sold them was 180 grams and it was mixed 13 carat, 14 carat, 10 carat. And it came up to a little over 5,300. So now that I know that the camera only records for 30 minutes, I'll either stop it and start it again, or you know I'll make sure we get it next time. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. We took it to um, the flea market, the Which Silver Moon. Oh, okay. And, oh, I go uh, out there once in a while. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Like a couple weeks ago was the first time I've been in like three years. <laughs> we blew it out, man. It, we took it all there just to not to have yeah. just to do exactly. it in like one morning. Yeah. yeah. And man, it was crazy. Dude, all the vendors though, they run around buying everything and then take it to their stand. Yeah. Yeah, you got to get that to that one early. Oh yeah, no, that's a, that's a flashlight flea market there. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll just go down to 20 on that if you want it. Yeah, I just don't know if I could even use it for like other stuff. Yeah. Well, so do you know if like, you can use those remotes or anything else? It's a Stadia, Stadia Google remote. Can it be used? Yeah, I don't know if you can use it for like Xbox or PlayStation. Probably not. Can you do any less on these? Um. You do five on top of Yeah. Five on these, Tony. Oh, that's mine. So I hope you enjoyed the video, but before we end it and get to the giveaway, I wanted to show you all that last piece my dad bought. So this was it right here. I don't know how good I can get this camera to focus on it real quick, but anyways, when you're at yard sales and you see these kind of things, when you see so much gold over time, you can kind of look and see which ones have the real potential of being gold. 
But this one's stamped right here on the back part right here, 18 karat. And that's what he's seen when he picked it up. But like I said, seeing so much gold over time, you can kind of look and see which ones really have the potential of being gold. But at yard sales, this was a dollar. So 18 karat's about $50 a gram. I'm guessing there's at least a couple grams in it, but this probably sells for a lot more as a piece than actual gold. So we just got it. We haven't put it on eBay or nothing. We'll probably do some research on it, see if we can find some like it that sold. The only ones we can find are, they have the same ones, but they're not gold. They're gold plated. This one's actually 18 karat gold. So the last thing we have to get to is the giveaway. Like I said, for this week, we're gonna do this Washington silver half commemorative. So we're going one winner. We got the link to the video. And then I always get people to ask, how do you enter for the giveaways all you have to do is be subscribed like the content and leave me a comment on the video tell me what you think about the video and then i take a random comment from the video and then this random comment picker right here selects the winner so here we go we're going one winner and then to all the other winners too i got a lot of them out yesterday um i was out of town for a week also been a little under the weather since i got back but here we go, we're going one winner. Harry Thomas. So Harry Thomas, if you have Instagram, right there is the best way to get in contact with me. I get a lot of messages right now on Instagram. Also too, the Silver Eagles I put out with that monster box. I've had a lot of people call and writing me. I'm all out, I don't have any more. If I ever get any more, I'll let y'all know, but right now I don't have any more. So Harry, if you have Instagram, message me right here on Instagram and I'll get it out to you. So once again, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all next week.